and girls, it's Miss Beth here because it is story time day. Boop, boop. You know this is a day that I absolutely love because I get to share some great stories with you. All right, today we are going to learn about the farm, the different seasons in the farm. It's called A Year on the Farm by Sue Unsteed and the publisher is Penguin Random House. All right, A Year on the Farm. This is the farm. Welcome. Here's the farmhouse and the dog kennel and the orchard. Now this is where all the fruit trees grow and the crops like weed and corn or whatever the farmer decides to, to grow. A field out here for the animals and a stable where the horse stays and the hen house where the chicken stays and the barn where the cows stay and the pigsty where the piggies stay and more crop fields for whatever the farmer might be planting for that year. All right. Wake up! The sun peeks over the farmyard wall. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cries the rooster. The farmer wakes up. It's time to get to work. It's going to be a busy year on the farm. Cock! doodle doo can you do that with me cock a doodle doo very good you're good at that all right in winter the farmer's day starts very early in the morning it is still dark it's time to collect some eggs the farmer and her dog go out to see the hens in the hen house she will take the eggs to market. Now the farmer is out on the farm in the tractor. Chug, 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 crunch, splash, splash. It is cold and frosty up on the hill. Today it is time to get the fields ready. Up and down the tractor goes, churning up the soil. All day, the farmer drives the tractor in the field, turning over the soil. That was a very long day. It's time to head home and put the animals to bed. The horses are in the stable. The noisy pigs are in their sty. The cows are in the barn. And the rooster and the hens in the hen house. seasons. Here are pictures that show how a farm changes through the years. What differences do you see? So do you see here's the winter and the spring and the summer and the fall. Can you see how the farm looks different? Now it's spring. All the animals are very busy with their babies. Cheep, cheep, cluck, 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 says the hen. Six fluffy balls of yellow feathers run behind her. These are her new chicks. Cheep, cheep, they cry. <gasps> Let's count the new chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. There are four woolly lambs inside the barn. Bah, bah, they bleat. One little lamb is lying on the straw. Bah, bah, the farmer picks it up. She feeds it milk from a bottle. The milk will help the lamb grow up to be strong. The farmer in her in her tractor is taking hay to the horses. A foal is trying out its wobbly legs. Now it's time to plant seeds in the fields, potatoes in the little field, wheat in the big field, and peas 
by the stream. Here's a little page that we're gonna guess on what animals make what sound. All right, match the animals. Ah, my mom is a you, my dad is a ram. Who am I? So, is that a kid, a piglet, a lamb, a foal, or a calf? Bah, says a lamb. So lamb is what you would pick. All right, oink, oink. My mom is a sow, my dad is a boar. Who am I? Is it a piglet, a kid, a lamb, a foal, or a calf? That's right, that's a piglet. Ma, my mom is a nanny, my dad is a billy. Who am I? Is it a piglet, a kid, a lamb, a calf, or a foal? That's right, it's a kid. That's a little baby goat. Nay, nay. My mom is a mare, my dad is a stallion. Who am I? Is it a piglet? Nope. Is it a kid? Nope. A lamb? Mm -mm. How about a foal? Yes, it's a foal. A foal is another name for a, for a little baby horse. And moo. My mom is a cow, my dad is a bull. Who am I? That's right, that's a calf. It is summertime. The farmer takes the tractor and her dog to the fields. It's time to round up the sheep. The farmer needs to shear their woolly coats. This will keep them cool in the summer sun. So when they say shear, they mean that they're gonna cut off their hair give them a haircut. The farmer has lots of jobs to do. First, she goes down to the stream to spray the peas. Spit, sprit, spritz. Here she has her machine that is helping spray the peas. Next, she waters the potatoes. Whoosh, whoosh. Then she cuts the grass to make hay. Chip, chop, Chippity chop. Here you go. All these different machines help make the farmer's life easier. Now it's time to milk the cow. Moo, says the cow, munching on some tasty grass. The milk is creamy. It will also be made into other good things like butter and cheese. Food from the farm. Farms give us many different foods. Dairy cows give us milk to drink. Milk can also be turned into these dairy foods. Cream, butter, cheese, yogurt. Eggs come from the hens. Wheat is made into flour for bread. Apples grow in the apple orchard. Potatoes and peas grow on the fields. It is now fall. The farmer drives the tractor to the big field every day. She needs to check that the wheat is ready. She picks a stalk and rubs the grain between her fingers. It is time to cut the wheat. She goes to get the combine harvester. The combine harvester and the tractor work in the field all day long, swish, Swish. The stalks of wheat are cut as the combine harvester drives through them. Whoosh, whoosh. 
the seeds of grain fall into the hopper. Roly poly, the stalks are rolled into bales of straw. The farmer picks the apples in the orchard. The apples can be used to make yummy things like apple pie and apple cider. The farmer brings in a box of potatoes and peas. The harvest is in, the hay is in the barn, the sun has set and now it's time for bed. The farmer goes to sleep. What a busy year on the farm. And that is the end of a year on the farm. Oh, that was another good one. I like that. I certainly hope that you heard, that you learned a little bit about what happens on the farm in different seasons and, and get to see some of those machines in action. That's pretty cool. I am Miss Beth, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastical day. And I cannot wait to see you next time.